What's up everyone? My name is April and this week I'm gonna show you how I made this awesome oversized hoodie blanket right here. The coolest thing about making things yourself is that you can customize it to whatever size you are. This is the perfect size for me and the size I wanted because I can literally just throw this over me and it covers my whole body. I can sit like this. It has a super warm hoodie and pockets with a fleece lining as well and the best part is that you can get up and just walk around the house with this all right hope you enjoy watching this tutorial as usual don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started The most fun part is choosing what fabric you want to make it out of. For the inside of my hoodie, I want it to be lined with soft Sherpa fabric. And for the outside, I want a velvety smooth fleece. I was thinking about choosing a fun printed fabric, but then just decided on a solid pink color. I purchased about three yards of each fabric and it ended up being the perfect amount for me. It really just depends on how you want it to fit. If you're taller, you might want to make your hoodie longer. And if you're a bigger size and want that oversized look, you will have to purchase enough fabric to achieve your desired fit. So take your measurements or bring a ruler with you when fabric shopping. I unfolded the fabric and fold it in half the wider way so it gives me more room to cut out the body of my hoodie. This soft fleece fabric really likes to stick together so I asked Eric to help me lay it flat. My hoodie is going to be about 38 inches wide and 40 inches long including seam allowance. The shape of it is just one big rectangle, keeping it simple. Since I cut the top on fold, I went ahead and separated the two layers to create a shoulder seam. I was thinking about leaving it and not having any shoulder seams, but sometimes the seams are great for lining things up evenly, which will make my life a lot easier. What's left of the fabric on the other side will be used to create the sleeves and hood. Repeat the same thing to the Sherpa fabric. Next up, I grabbed Eric's hoodie because it's a larger size and traced out the front and back neckline onto the fabric. It's important to mark the center of your fabric so you can cut and mark evenly. You really only have to mark one side accurately because we're going to fold it in half to cut it out. I transferred the neckline I just cut onto the Sherpa fabric to make sure it's the same shape. Now go ahead and sew the shoulder seams together on both layers. My machine is on a straight stitch and you can increase your stitch length if your machine is having a hard time moving the thick fabric along. Moving on to the sleeves, they're also just going to be a simple rectangle pattern. I just put the leftover fabric on fold and cut out the length of my sleeves. Just make sure you are saving enough material for the hood. Mark the center of each sleeve and match it to the shoulder seam, pinning them right sides together to the sides of the body. Sew all four sleeves on. Before we can close up the sides of the body, I measured the pocket across the top, bottom, and measured the height of it and drew the shape onto my fabric. Make sure to add seam allowance afterwards. Again, fold the fabric in half to evenly cut out both sides of the pocket, then use that piece to cut out the second layer from the Sherpa. Baste the two pockets wrong sides together and base stitch them together along all sides.
Now you can decide where you want the pocket placed and pin it down. I want the Sherpa to stick out along the edges, so I'm just top stitching the pocket on. I'm sewing right on top of the basting stitch line. Woohoo! The pocket is on. So now we can flip everything right sides together and sew the underarm and side seams closed. Just a warning that the further along we get, the more challenging it's going to be to sew this hoodie because the layers are so thick and heavy. After the two layers are sewn, I am now going to work on the hood. With your fabric on fold, line up the hood you're tracing along the straight open edge and trace out the shape. Add seam allowance and cut two pieces from both fabric. Sew the two hoods along the head curve. Next, I sew the two hoods together along the front face opening. Turn the hood inside out and base stitch the two layers along the neckline to hold it in place. Now we can stick the Sherpa lining inside of the fleece jacket. Pin and base stitch the neckline together as well. Make sure to mark the center back and center front of the neckline, then evenly pin the hood on. I recommend you sew one side from the center back to the front first, and then go back to the center back to attach the other side. This part was the most challenging to sew because you're working with four layers of heavy fabric and you now have the weight of the rest of the hoodie as well. In other words, be prepared to sweat while sewing this. Lastly, trim the bottom of the hoodie and the sleeves so everything is even and at a good length. And to finish off the edges, I just simply top stitch the raw edges together. Both materials don't fray, so I decided not to hem it or add a fitted cuff, but feel free to do whatever you want. Here's what the final oversized hoodie blanket looks like on.
so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you do make this blanket hoodie, share a picture with me on Instagram. And don't forget to tag me and hashtag Cool Lerpa. See you next time. Bye.